a second. No, no, no. no. no wait, We're talking on. about no, no, public no. school. One, one moment. All right. So now you've asked me questions. Sure. Well, I'm going to answer it. Okay. Tiffany Justice. Uh, she is the co-founder of Moms for Liberty. I know Tiffany. I've seen her at many events. I think I've done their podcast uh, at least once or twice over the years. She is an absolutely lovely woman who I think was mostly uh, apolitical throughout her life. And then as they were pushing all of this gender nonsense and trans stuff and all of this stuff on her kids and then her friends' kids and everything else, uh, she started a group called Moms for Liberty. They're one of the groups that started looking into some of the books that kids were learning, uh, that kids were supposed to read. They started looking into the curriculum that they were being taught, et cetera, et cetera. She is by no honest assessment an extremist or a right-wing maniac or anything else, but of course that's what the media calls her. Anyway, she went on the televised mental institution known as MSNBC to talk to Joy Reid, uh, and Joy tried to explain to her why children learning about pedophilia should be in public schools. The question I'm asking is, what is the expertise that you have and other Moms for Liberty advocates have to decide that a book, an award-winning book, like All Boys Aren't Blue, isn't uh, appropriate for students to read? What, what is your expertise? What a tragic story of a young man who's anally raped by his adult family member. So you mm -hmm. have incest, rape, pedophilia. Joy, you said you'd let me answer, so sure. I'm gonna answer Please for do. you. Please um, do. In what context is a strap-on dildo acceptable for public school? Just, mm -hmm. let, I mean, that's my question mm -hmm. to you. Tell me what the context around the strap on dildo or the rape of a minor child by a teacher. Hold on a second. No, no, no. no. no wait, We're talking on. about no, no, public no. school. One, one moment. All right. So now you've asked me questions. Sure. Well, gonna, I'm going to answer it. Okay. Well, who is the main character? What's the name of the main character in All Boys Are Blue? You're asking me right now. You just gave me very specific information about this book. So you're pl presenting yourself as somebody expert. It's the gentleman. To, um, hold on. The main, to, who's the main character in the, the book? The main character is the author. Who's the, what's his name? George, I believe is his first because name. Because you're giving me very specific information that is You're asking me to remember the name of an author. You the just name remembered of the author very specific name. Joy. Here's my you're question. You're talking about Here's my question. You didn't answer my no, question. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to answer Great. your question. I would love to hear that. Absolutely. Well, I, you, I'm interviewing you and you're not interviewing me. So let's just make sure it's a conversation. Okay, okay great. So, Okay, Joy is just so absolutely unbearable that she tries to pin this down on you don't know the name of the main character. She knows that it's George. She knows that it's an autobi, you know, that it's biographical, et cetera, et cetera. It's just, it's such nonsense. And she knows what the story is about. But that's just like a little trick that if you're a really um, dishonest host, you can use on somebody. Like if I'm interviewing somebody and they kind of don't know what they're doing, there's always a way you can really just get them on some BS. And that's exactly what Joy Reid did. I think even for the dumb uh, brainlets that are watching MSNBC, they probably can see through that. Uh, first, I want to just say that someone has to decide what's in curriculum. So when Joy is like, well, this is an award-winning book, and why should someone, no kid is taught the sum totality of all information every year of their life, right? Every year, you, there are educators and, and parents and board members that get together to decide what is appropriate for these children. Just if you're watching this, just think back to when you were in third, fourth grade. Right. Think about your teacher. I'll think my third grade teacher, Mrs. Kochenauer, absolutely loved her. She read us uh, The Secret Garden and she did all the voices. She, I just absolutely adored this woman. I thought she was like 160 years old. She was probably like 65 or something, but that, that's part of growing up. But imagine if she was, instead of reading The Secret Garden to us, if she was reading this book about anal rape and dildos and incest and everything else, um, that probably wouldn't have been right. It's not to say those things don't exist because they do, but they are appropriate at some point. And when that point should be is subjective. And that's why parents ultimately should be the deciders of what their children are learning. And by the way, we all know this, which is why the homeschooling movement and the pod movement uh, and school choice is exploding right now because everyone's realizing, boy, you know, for generations now, we've been sending these kids to learn about a whole bunch of weird shit, And now a bunch of kids have anxiety. They're all on drugs etc etc anyway it continued with joy reed but uh, tiffany did a fine job here i'm saying to you is that as you are not an expert in this book i don't have to be an expert no, 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 aren't one appropriate moment, for public moment, school i mean this come on, let's book get real is a full context story as you said of the author's experience why is it your right or a moms for liberty activists right to say that a parent who wants their child to have access to this book, which gives a personal experience of this author, that they, that why doesn't a liberal parent, for instance, or a parent of an LGBTQ kid, why don't they have a right for their child to just have access to this book? Why is it your right to say they can't? 
So, again, we're talking about incest, rape, and pedophilia. And Boy, each parent, no, 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 no. Each parent has to decide what is appropriate for their child to read. So I want you to answer. I'm going to ask so you one more a, time. Right. What is your right to tell a parent who wants their child, who might feel seen by this story, why oh don't they gosh. have the right? Why don't they have the right as a parent to say, my child can have access to this book? If a child feels seen by this story, that means that they have been uh, the victim of a predator. That means that they have either been raped by a family member, they, they, they've they experienced um And your proof of that is what? You just said that What's if a child feels that? seen by this story. They, so they, they, what, no, 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 what no, no, I'm no, saying, no. Joy, You're now making assumptions. No, about it, Joy, no, no. but if Let a child give you has a, been raped, we should do a lot better than put a book on a library shelf. Now you're literally shelf. creating we a story behind give. a child that you don't know. Let me show you a form. Can't say all the things. Can't say them. Nobody's going to make any money around here if I say them, so let me try to do it nicer. First off, when Joy keeps saying, uh, are you an expert in this book? Do you think that, that in thus that would give you the right to criticize the book? Do you think the teachers who are teaching this book or any other book are experts in this book? No, they're elementary school teachers in public schools. They're not, they're not necessarily the best and the brightest. That's number one. Number two, Joy, if you really want, when she talks about the parents of the LGBTQ and, and, the, and the liberal parents, if they really want their child, their fourth grader, to learn about anal rape, and all of this other stuff, then give them that book at home. And then guess what? Tiffany and Moms for Liberty might have, they might question the ethics or the morality of that parent, but at that point, it's not their right to do anything. When we're talking about a public school, every parent it gets on the board, right? Like the parents can be as involved as they want. Most parents obviously over the last two or three decades have not been involved enough. So people like Joy Reid were able to infect all of these things. But if but when Joy Reid's like, so what are you saying? Everything should be taught? Like it just doesn't even make any sense.